Yeah. All right, you two, Jeff lands in the garage with you, Sunday the 21st. We're gonna turn this noise off a little bit. And what we've done is made a practice piece with the correct height here. Uh, we're gonna drill some holes and place a couple of these clips where we think they might need to end up, hopefully. And we'll see if we can get that chrome trim on there. And so we'll just try it and see what happens. Mark us a couple of spots. And then we'll come in there and drill them out. And according to the way this looks, it's not really in the middle. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure something out here in just a minute. I know that's a small, small hole where I'm drilling. If I break that bit, we're just going to be without a bit. So anyway, let's see if we can get them to thread in there with that one sixteenth hole. Uh, I really hadn't checked any further than what Russ was saying. Uh, this may or may not be a big enough hole in this sheet metal. I don't know. It certainly does not seem to be. Uh, may have to go one size bigger, you two. We'll get to the drill bit and see what happens. And I don't know. You're learning right alongside of me, so we'll see. I doubt these little old screws are made out of much, so if you ever strip that head, it's probably over. Well, that went in there fairly good with that next size. Now, my question is. Is that going to hold the clip? Because it bottoms out with that shoulder. That clip bottoms out before it gets tight enough to do any good with that. The only other thing that I can think of we can do, maybe, is being that. So that it'll tighten up on it. Don't know. Well, that's, that might be the trick. I don't know. We'll try and see, tubers. I've kind of got the head of this one messed up. It may not start. But I can tell you, I'm not liking this at all. Like I say, if you, if you strip that right there, any at all, it's pretty much over with. Yeah, that one's no bueno. We'll get another one with a fresh screw and a hole that's hopefully big enough. Yeah, if you ever strip that screw just a little bit, it's over. But I tell you, when it bottoms out, now it's bottomed out. All right, let's see if we can modify this one a shot. And from what Russ was telling me, you know, once you get these on, and you get all your butyl and whatever you got to put in there for your windshield. You know, all that's going to gum up and help it all stay stuck in there. So that may be 
what we do. I'll you tell you what, get a piece of chrome trim and see what happens. From what I get, I know I keep calling this chrome trim. It's not really chrome. From what I gather, what I understand about this is that windshield is laying in here and that's gonna actually support this uh, inner part, but uh, your clips still have to go in and snap into that. So, that's not working out just like I wanted it to, but don't know. All right, tubers. We moved this one from here to here, and we brought that screw up a little bit. I think we had them too low. This one's still there. And here's the issue. If that piece fits flat up against here like that, it brings this top out away from here. You can see how that one's still sitting in there beveled. I just had the screws too low. You see, it needs to be more like that, which you gotta. Re I gotta re-drill it. I just had the screws a little bit too low, uh, and that lets that top come out, and that'll let that track right there pop in there, and you can see how easy. It just pops right in and finishes all flush. And of course, the windshield being there and there, it, you know, it'll hold it out like this. So that seems to be what we're going to do there. All right, tubers. Um, we moved this clip over and brought that screw up as well so that one will lay flat. And what we'd like to do is get two of them to pop in kind of easily and see if that's going to be the ticket. Uh, this piece of trim where the old clips were had a couple of bad spots. And I just took my time, went along, and tried to straighten. And, uh, of course, I have not polished or anything, done anything to it. It's got a few little nicks and dings along, you know, in places. I'm not sure if I need to buy a new one or not or, or just try to polish this out first. But anyway, the main thing is to try to see if we can get both of those to pop in. And we'll do that right now. We're not going to try to favor and get away from where it was at. We're just going to try to pop them in. I don't know. But there they pop right in there. So that may be what it is right here in this area right here. There's a little bit of shape to it. And this is just straight. So uh, you can kind of see, I believe that's going to be fine. It seems to be very strong. And of course, you're just talking about laying that chrome in there. I mean, it's not going to be pressured at all. So hopefully that's going to be the ticket, YouTube. We'll see. We'll bring you back. All right, YouTube. Jeff Lindsay still in the garage with you on the 21st. Uh, We've come along and made repairs on the back end that we needed to make. We tied in in these corner areas. We built our pieces and tied in. Uh, we tied this where it wraps down. We went ahead and stitch welded, ground it back out smooth. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is weld this piece in solid all the way across the back end. And then the plan is to test fit one or two more times with everything. I want to lay the roof skin on. I want to test fit with the back windshield and the front windshield in before we weld anything. Um, of course, we're going to spray this with epoxy uh, inside and out, protect it the best we can. And we've got to order the... Uh, the foam or caulking or whatever it is, I've got to find it. Uh, I had mentioned that one time before and somebody, I want to thank somebody had mentioned what it was. I went back and tried to find it in an earlier video and I can't seem to find it. Idaho, it might've been you. 
I, I just can't remember. But anyway, we'll figure out what it is we got to have uh, to put in between the two panels. And this will be the last video of repair work and nonsense. The next one is going to be the roof skin being nailed on. Uh, we're just about at that point. Another test fit or two with the windshields uh, front and back. And we're going to be punching holes and pulling the trigger on getting this thing put in. I'm ready to get on with it. I know everybody else is tired of <laughs> seeing it seeing a bunch of yah yah going on. But anyway, that's what happens when you get these old rusty cars, you gotta make a bunch of repairs. So, uh, <clears throat> test fitting a couple more times with the windshield and the back windshield in, uh, spray epoxy. And like I say, the next video uh, that we'll do, it'll be sprayed, it'll be ready for me to lay the roof skin on and start nailing it down. So, uh, had a great response on the trim stud deal. Uh, a lot of folks that I need to thank. Michael B. Uh, was the first one to jump on this thing. Uh, he went out there. He's got, it looks like a jam up 70 that he's working on. And uh, I'm not sure if he's doing any videos. I need to check on that. But uh, Michael, I appreciate your help. I appreciate all the measurements. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Not everybody uh, will do it. Uh, John Wright jumped on it, jumped out there on his, took a bunch of measurements, texted me with all that information. And with everybody's information, it, it sure worked out good. I believe we got the trim stud deal figured out. I feel good about it. Uh, several folks volunteered. You know, if I didn't get what I was looking for, which I did, uh, you know, everybody was just extremely helpful, and I appreciate that. Russ, Idaho, Katana. Uh, uh, some some of y'all I, I I don't have your names, so <laughs> we'll uh, we'll call you by your handle on YouTube. Anyway, uh, enough talking, enough working. We're gonna call it a weekend. It's been a good weekend, and tomorrow's work day, so we'll get ready for that. But like I say, the next video is gonna be nailing on the roof skin. Uh, and then once we get the roof skin, we'll go from there. We'll figure out exactly what we're going to do. We need to get these welds prepped, cleaned up. I need to get this upper cow panel scuffed and sprayed uh, with epoxy. So we'll do that next probably, which won't take long and probably won't be much of a good video. But anyway, we'll do that. And then what we're going to do is build the car. We're going to put the doors on. We're going to gap the doors. We're going to put the fenders, core. We're going to put everything on there, clean up the hood hinges, put the hood on. We're going to see just how close to putting this thing together we can get. Uh, and then we're going to kind of roll it over out of the way, maybe cover it up and pull the motor and transmission and get started on that. Long way to go on this car, you two. Couple more years at least, probably, of uh, videoing and talking and carrying on. So uh, hang around. We're going to keep working on it. Going to keep working on it. And when we have some progress, we'll bring you along. <laughs>